hi there friends welcome back today we'll see about the customer ledger in this video so open up your browser the login process is same so I've already logged in and then now click on the cart and uh, on the left side you can see the customer credits so click on the customer credits and here you can see the customers are highlighted which uh, which is already created and their cash outstanding amount is this so first of all we are going to create a new customer so i'm clicking on this main navigation and on main navigation go to the customers and uh, click on manage customer then add customer and uh, here you can see add new button so click on the add new button so you can create a new customer so suppose I'm going to create one customer like uh, Mr. Puneet and uh, mobile number is just some dummy number and uh, email ID is like uh, Puneet at uh, gmail.com and uh, you can add other, other fields too but I'm just uh, skipping the path and uh, now i'm going to add some carry forward balance for the customer like uh, i'm putting uh, thousand rupees and i'm creating it so one new customer is created that is mr puneet now i'm going on the main navigation and uh, after that i'm going to click on the cart again so i'm cutting the bill for the new customer that is uh, puneet Customer wants to buy a watch, so I'm uh, adding a fast track watch and a uh, quantity is one, and I'm adding it. So the um, digital watch is added. So I want to generate the bill of credit. So when I click on this credit, you can see the customer is added, and uh, I don't want to print the bill, so I'm directly generating it so you can see current credit of the customer was 1020 rupees now it is increased to 5990 rupees so again i'm going to cut one more bill for the same customer that is puneet and the uh, item is uh, shoes rebox shoes and uh, quantity is like one and i'm adding the item and uh, after that again i'm going to generate the credit bill so here you can see the current credit was 5990 rupees now it is increased to 10960 rupees so um, you can create the credit bills for the customers after that go to the customer payments here you can see the pony the purchasing bills now he wants to pay few amount so i'm clicking on this add new and uh, adding the customer name that is uh, puneet and uh, voucher date is like today and invoice number is like a bill number or other i'm just putting some dummy and suppose the cash payment done by uh, puneet is uh, five thousand rupees payment can be done by the bank too but uh, the payment is done by cash so i'm adding cash here and after that uh, i'm creating it so the payment is done by the customer after that uh, you can see current credit is decreased to 5960 rupees again i'm going back so here you can see the Queenie cash payment is 5000 rupees now you want to print the statement so click on this statement print and select the date like i'm selecting uh, one two between nine and the uh, customer name is beneath and click on search button here you can see all the bills are uh, shown here like uh, purchasing bills and cash payment is of rupees 5000 rupees and uh, you can see the outstanding amount is now 5960 rupees the last outstanding amount was 10960 rupees so after the payment the amount decreased to 5960 rupees so this is the details of uh, one particular customer and um, you can see the customer name is puneet 
and uh, these are the details and uh, after i click on this statement print you can see the ledger here so here you can see the purchasing bill and cash payment that uh, purchases are these and uh, balance are going to be this and uh, after the payment of rupees 5000 rupees which is cash payment so the remaining net balance is going to be 5960 rupees so you can see last transaction balance is done on this date and uh, he have to pay 5960 rupees more so this is how the customer credits work and uh, you can print the ledger from here and uh, you can print and you can send the email to the customer so this is it for the today and uh, thank you for watching this video and have a good day